Damn. <laughs> Fuck, we were trying to help him out, man. Oh, we can't wait to kill the Titan. He's next. Next to for me to take his power. And he lost his crystal. They fucking deserve it. <laughs> Those fucking goddamn bastards. Shit. Fucking shit to me. They hide oh, we're still here? The hideaway was like right here. We're still in the same place. What the fuck? That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path, I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And... I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. This is our new home base? I wanna know what the fuck happened when Sid died. Did we like reunited with everyone? Did we like found the people who were still alive? Is the blacksmith still here? I hope he's still here. Can I put like a waypoint? I'm gonna check him out first. And everybody's calling me Sid now. Fuck. Look, it's Sid. Stay long this time. God damn it. What? Why did he took the name of Sid? He wants his name keep going. Blood on it. Oh, you still alive? And what can I do for you? Going purse weighing you down. I want to ask about the highway. Business or pleasure? Has it really been five years since they left the old place? How time flies. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were all waiting to to treat Sid a, to a hero welcome. When Kupka not turn up. <sighs> not that we know it was them. It's just poor like plague of rats cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and, and bodies everywhere. There was a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of all. I never forget those cries. Try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. Promise thee you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that. That comes what may Sid will save us. Sarah, so then. But how did we all like? <laughs> you, you're still alive. 
life. So, what'd it be? Ooh. Did I still not... Nope. Cannot reinforce the, uh, the purples. It last you a good while. You still have nothing for this? Anything else? Doesn't look like it. It looks kind of badass. Holy shit. In the day. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Fuck. God damn. How did we like build this place? What? Who, where the fuck is the Lord guy? Is he here? Or is he here? The wall of wait, wait. The wall of memories. What the fuck is that? Is that like all the the people who died? In the hideaway, like you put their names on the wall. You be into the toll. I hear a new shipment's just arrived. How's this? Life's chamber. <laughs> okay, this is chamber. Oh, what the hell? The oath. Pray the day, Clive pledged allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard uh, transfixed the twin daggers. It's a powerful reminder of the promise made. A friendship forged and legacy inherited. Is that all I have? What the fuck? Okay then. Where the fuck is the Lord guy? Is the Lord guy even alive? That's a shop. Okay, that's the orchestra. That's the stone. I think the lore guy died. What the fuck? Got that there. Oh. Ooh. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would relinquish Ash. 
And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraquois boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do not fear for your home. Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Oh wait, he's still alive! And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Standing around, by speaking with Viv Vivian in the highway map room, Clive can view the state of the realm. And learn more about the current going in the Yalsiha. Revisit any Ninetales past lessons or take deeper uh, look at the relationship of those individuals of Clive Orbit. Hmm. Of course. Let's see. The Grand Cast. Here you can view the details of visualizing the character's relationship in Final Fantasy 16. The update has progressed through the main uh, scenario. Use L1 and R1 to cycle through the portrait of Milestone in, in Clive's adventure. Okay, childhood friends, best friend. Yeah, I want to know about, more about this fucker. <laughs> he should have been dead a long time ago. I mean, like, we went to the cave of Ether. He didn't die. Whoa, I want to know more about him. Clive's faithful friend brought back from one of the Archduke Elwyn's expedition of the frozen northern territory, where he is found half starved and shearing in a snowfield. Having possibly been separated from his pack, El uh, Elwyn gifted the puppy, puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became high, uh, nigh uh, inseparable. Okay. I, I just need to know uh, where is the one. Can't see from back. Elwood from the expedition. Okay. Where he was found in Hellstar. Yeah, I already read that. Elwood. Until the tragic event of Phoenix Gate tore them apart. Yeah, something's in the top change. God damn it. Alright. Clive's faithful friend, now fully grown, after the tragic event of the Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgo was lost to him forever. However, their paths were. Uh, to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master Sid came to Clyde's rescue in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Despite their long year apart, the two knew uh, each other as if not a single day has passed since their separation. Holy shit. Get friends separated on the night of the tragedy. Okay, get reunited. Into the ensuing year, Torgo has not only grown into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Sid again, Torgo gladly returned to the service of his former master. I wanna know, what the fuck is that in the right? Is that our, like, logo? 
Because look, he has no logo. Then there's this logo where Clive was with the, with his dad, the Rosefield family. So is this our logo? He is fiercely uh, protective of him and his allies. Loath and he is the, loath as he is to lose his best friend again, and never stray from Clive's side. Putting the hunting skills Sid taught him to use of fending off foes and packing up trails. Is that our, like our logo here? Sworn Shield, Dominant Phoenix, Sw Sworn to Serve. Who the fuck is this? Oh, damn. I'm so sorry, my friends. Wait, what the fuck is that? Steed oh, oh, it's our chocobo. Why the fuck is he here? <laughs> uh. Oh, here comes fucking bastard. I fucking hate you. Switching sides, betraying us. Bring more of it. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's our logo. Born of a princess of the Northern Territory, Jill was made. A ward of Rosoria, Rosoria after her homeland uh, incident raid were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in the Rosalind castle alongside Clive and Joshua who came to love her as a sister. Born, I think, when she waved uh, when she waved the brothers farewell in the day of the departed Phoenix Gate, little did she know about the misfortune that awaited both of them and her. Um, Shiva, Clive's childhood friend, in the depths of the Nysa defile, the two came to blow in the order to the army that enslaved them. Jill's fighting to defend the priest of the Iron Kingdom. Clive's ob obeying the, uh, the Empire's order to take the head of Shiva's dominance. Exhausted from her tilt from with the Titan. Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blade, but was spared at the last moment with Clyde's memories with their time together came flooding back. Yeah. Okay, uh, in the wake of the tragedy of the Phoenix Gate, Jill was taken prisoner by the okay, Iron Army and marched on the Rosalind and held captive on their island. It was there that she awakened as the dominant of Shiva and was forced to serve as a crusader's weapon in their holy war. Yeah. <clears throat> After Clive and Sid spirit her away from the battlefield where she was being forced to fight for the Iron Blood, Jill was placed in the care of the hideaway talented uh, physiker Torcha, who nursed her back to health. Finally awake after a long period of convenience, she set out with Clive to discover the truth of their past. Georgia, who nursed her back to hell five years after now that years uh, have now passed since the fall of the Drakehead. And she and Clive continue Sid's mission to impacipate uh, the barriers and rid of the realm of the Mother Crystal. Let's see. She will trust the company of Clive, the leader of the new hideaway. Together they continue the Sid's mission. Uh, Alright. Grand Duchy of Rosaria. So they didn't put Sid here because he's dead. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, why the fuck is this guy here? I thought he isn't he dead. Is he important too? Born in the stables of Ros uh, Rosalind's castle, Umbrasa was chosen by this young Sid uh, Clive. Rosefield to be his personal steed and raised by him for from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly returned her beak upon Annie, but he but he will should attempt to pet her. Ah, okay. Quickly turn her beak upon Annie, but he will shall attempt to pet her. Life for her steed during the attack on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clyde's rescue, saving him from the certain death at the cost of of an eye. A price that she gladly play, uh, paid. 
I don't think she's alive, is she? Torgo is alive, so she could be alive. We never know. Study it well, Clive. Here you can view the diesels overviewing the current and past event uh, relevant to Clive's story. That update as they progress through the main scenario. Press R L one R L to start you through the milestone of Clive's adventure. This one, Venus Gate. Well, that's bottom brother right there is because the Venus Gates. Wait. Oh, oh, I think this is where. At the, the at the beginning where they were at the house, then the Duke told Clive to go and fight some goblins. Yeah. Take a less turtle path through the Stillman Marsh and eradicate, yeah, eradicate the goblins. All right. Then R1, what happens there? Power to save his brother and father from the Imperial. Okay, okay, this is where they got attacked. Attacked by these bastards. The Empire. The invasion of the Phoenix Gates. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? I barely know this. The Iron Kingdom. Let's see what's in the what's the other one? Wait, is this the yeah, this is the Iron Blood that was getting closer to their kingdom. This is where they got invaded. What happens next? Okay, Clive survived the tragedy of Venus Gate only to be forcibly recruited in the Imperial Army. He spirited away to the St. Brieg on his mother's order, and he will now return to his homeland again for many long years. Okay. The occupation of the weakened duchy. Hero army. Okay, the the Iron Kingdoms came to the attack. Oh, this is where the after. Is this the after? Yeah, this is the after. Like after uh uh Clive killed his brother. So they attack and evaded. It took Jill and some other people's. Yeah, surprise attack launched by the Irons. That she will say, uh. Yeah. Here we go. This is where it all started. Then the kingdom went to fight them. Like always. Like, who the fuck is this? Soul Survivor Nation in the Ash, where Lola has his name. Okay, home of the Mother Crystal of the Drake Spine. Wait, is this Odin? Yeah, this is where Odin's at. So these guys trying to evade. Yeah, the evasion. After invasion, I like it how they have a little tiny kingdom here. They try to evade and fail. They try to evade again because they have a a dominant that Shiva and they fucking lost again. They're pretty terrible. Benedicta and your intelligence press on the carrier Norvin where they overthrown the uh, 
occupy poorly guarded imperial outposts there they hold the dominance attended captive oh you're already here what the fuck in this part in this timeline where they the uh, captive uh, capture the dominant let's see is there anything else no i thought there would be like more shit happening while we were trying to fight and retreat okay and okay, they try to retreat to their homelands but they never did Oh, this is where Odin and uh, Bahamut fought. Okay. Let's see, war of conquest. Okay, and this one, and they were trying to defend. Yeah. Like Tempest. Gets me feeling her voice. Clive to prime into the second icon of fire. Okay, this is where he transformed. I'm trying to remember what w the timeline because I want to know what happened after you know like Sid died I want to know what happened like who did we like go back or did we like like retreating and we found someone who told us what happened you know like the hideaways uh, falling okay. after learning that he is a dominant fire who slew his brother Clive long uh, long only for oblivion Yet Sid suggests another option to go with him to the King's Fall, that he might learn what Gav has re uh, discovered of the other man they believe to be a dominant of fire. Okay. Where were we? Oh, this is where we, uh, goddamn. Went to the, the the Phoenix Gate. This is the Phoenix Gate one. Yeah. Dive and you'll continue the journey, passing through the village. Okay. Jason Connor. Nothing. I want to know why did you know that they attacked the little village? Yeah. Here we go. The massacre. Assemble forces of the Holy Empire of the Spain. Well, officially under the command of the Cardinals is the Holy Emperor. Okay. Battlefield, Dragoons. Okay, it just tells me the fucking army. I just want to know why. The purge of the brutal attack of Rosalian Village. Okay. Annabelle, Holy Empress of the Sep Breed. And. Okay. Order that all barriers being harbored. Okay, I think I already read this. Shaken by the slaughter of at East Pool, Clive returns to the hideaway with the newfound resolve to class orange with Sid and see the persecution of the barrier ended. I mean, I want to know why she attacked him. Maybe because they were waiting for her, like, former lover and she got all mad because they were waiting for him. Okay, Clive destroyed the heart of the Drake head, but it comes at the cost of Sid's life. They met very nearly their own after they uh oh, very nearly their own. After they were set up by the bizarre otherworldly being only to be saved at the last moment by Clive's younger brother Joshua. Alive after all these years. Okay, in eight seventy three Sid outlaw. Along with asserting his allies, infiltrated the Sep Queen capital of the uh, Ori Flame, breaking down a mother crystal in the daring and unpredictable attack. Investigating after a fact concluded that the infiltrator took advantage of the disturbance caused by either flood to gain entry to the Empire Holy Sanctum. 
The aftermath of this incident, Sid was declared a wanted man. In the faction, he led a criminal enterprise to be count, uh, counted across the Valsitha. Okay, destroyed it. And these fucking bastards came and attacked the hideaway. No, let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what I want to know. What happened? Life returned to the highway and finding the ruins devastated by Hugo Kafka and his minion. He he refused to let Sid's dream die. However, the and ra however, and rallies the or uh, rallies the survivors behind him, eventually leading them to the build a new home in the heart of. Banamura? Uh, I can't pronounce it. Yeah, it's like pretty much next to the freaking original hideaway. The Empire attacked this place. Capital no longer. Former capital of the Holy Empire after the Mother Crystal was destroyed and attacked by Sid's outlaw. Okay. The decision was made to move the throne and her army south to the Crystalline Dominion, regardless of whether or not the Dominion citizens approve. Warrior Flame has since fallen gradually into the decline, having lost the Mother Blessing and all the benefits it brought. Okay, established under the leadership of Clive Rosefield, who took on the Title of Sid after his former leader passing and Titus destruction of the old hideway. Here's the community of like minded individuals from across the realm scattered to build a place where peoples can live and die on their own terms, like his predecessor. He built within the fallen ruins deep within the deadlands of the central storm. Suddenly unlock a predecessor, however, it's located in the center of a lake, across where waters are. Any evading enemies can easily be spotted long before their arrival. Okay. The present. Pursuit of Sid. Are they still attacking? Occupation of Crystal Knight Dominion. What the hell have these bastards been doing the whole time? But this thing, wherever we are, this, it looks like a freaking ship. I believe Ultima is a fucking alien. <laughs> I mean, think about it. These ships, these golems looking motherfuckers, they're all the. the, 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 the they sound like to me they're aliens. Like they crash landed and like they're trying to take over. But like someone sealed them away. Lawsman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Already? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates, see if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. 
You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Give me a sec, give me a sec. How good it is to see you, Clive. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Okay, what's your level now? You're level four now? What? What subject shall we consider today? Uh, 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 I want to see Ultima if you have, you know, if something about him. That's very... Wait, some dominants have the ability to call upon the part of their icon's power to summon a ward. High impervious barrier that no magic, no matter, can cross. However, maintenance requires a cautious channeling of ether through the... Summoner's flesh, taking a heavy toll upon them. Larger the barrier, the greater the burden. Mystery hood man, who's to be believed to be the Dominion of Fire, he is net. He is never seen outside the company of the faithful attendant after being captured by Benedicta Intelligence in a prison. Okay. Dominion of Phoenix, former. And former heir to the ducal throne, Joshua was thought to have died in the hands of the second icon of fire during the disaster of the Phoenix Gate. However, he's very much alive, traveling the realms even now. He's truly dead and hidden by a heavy skull. He assumed named the Lord of Mark Grace. The fuck? Oh, Ultima! There we go, you sorry bitch! A otherworldly being that Clive encountered in the inner sanctum, Drake's head. He addressed Clive as a mythos before attempting to merge their conscience. However, Clive was uh, able to summon the will of a resistant creature. Before Joshua returned from the dead and imprisoned a, in a, 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 uh, prison it in a cage of flames that he sealed away in his own heart. Name that okay, that's the name that's being known and ultimately given to Clive. The Hell's Mythos. The name in which Ultima addressed Clive it appears to be the title of the, for the vessels of the unlimitedless power. That he means to make the young Lord Marcus. But but what end requires such a thing? Only Ultima knows. Huh. I think. Yeah, he, he pretty much wants the, the power to, like, to absorb every icon and... Can you absorb the Mother Crystals, too? Oh, no, he said Limitless. So maybe he goes absorb more? Python. This, this one is fucking creepy. Fuck. He was drawn the destruction of the heart of the Drake's head. Ultima emerged from the tears and reality wearing the skin of Typhon. Oh, he he was him? Well, well not him, him, but like, like controlling him? A withered and wizened uh, colossus and drew Clive into the space between the worlds where the ethereal entity might test his worth as a vessel. Fuck. Let me see, uh, Odin, Odin looks badass, fuck. Wait. 
Why is this one? I haven't faced one yet, but why is it showing up? Why are they, uh... Wolves. Where's the wild chocobos? Are they bastards? Iron giants? Have I missed them? Alright, here we go. These these are the bastards. I I think they're like aliens. They have to be aliens. You are always welcome, Clive. Like this is like I don't know, maybe a spaceship that crashed, and maybe Ultima was with it, and all the people learned magic of it. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Not a stolas. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. What could you have of thought worthy of a letter? Maybe he's captured, or... Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern crown for me. Or maybe Jav wants revenge that he found Kupka. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Reports later and other important bits of address to Clive are delivered to the, the reading table in the chamber. Okay. The Republic play. What the fuck? Republican, uh, Republican uh, army marching in the empire as twin side and the men of the rocks have been summoned to the front. Something big is, uh, be wig. I, re I recon. I see you done the way upon my return. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. 
It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Crystals. To sit. 